Okay, so in the um, previous video, we looked at this idea of making a sort of secret room using a procedure. Okay, so def room one, and then inside that, all the things you want to happen. Okay, and then we could call the secret room by just typing the name of the procedure anytime we wanted to use it. Now, at the moment, the procedure doesn't do an awful lot. It just takes you to a room and asks you a question. But if we want to be able to change the lives, for example, so say... Say we wanted to give the user an extra life um, when they they answer the question correctly. Okay, we've got to do a couple of other things. Now, what we need to do, I'm just going to show you a, a version of this over here, is you can see here in brackets, we've got the, the variable lives. So this is the amount of lives the user has got at that point. OK, now you can see the difference here in the original one. I didn't have anything in the brackets. And what we're doing here is we are passing a value into the procedure. OK, so we're taking lives and we're passing it into the into the procedure so it can do something with it. OK, now when you call this, so when you actually use the procedure, so I'm going to go down here, you can see here instead of doing um, this, what we did before, room one and that instead of doing that we do this okay so we do room one and in the brackets we put lives we put the thing we want to put into the procedure okay so in this case we want to put the lives in because we want those to change okay so if i head back to the procedure this is what's going in okay and we're putting in lives there it is so now lives can be altered in the game, okay? Now, if we've got to do one other thing. We need to return the lives back to the main program. So the lives at the moment are inside our, our procedure, okay, just here. But we've got to return the value lives back to the main program so we know what it is, okay? So we, what all we do is we write at the bottom, return, and then the thing we want to return, and in this case, it's lives, okay? Now, actually, when you use the return feature, okay, this isn't called a procedure anymore. It's called a function, okay, a function. So it takes a value in, lives, does something with it, changes it, plus or minus, and then returns that value back to the main program, okay? And the way it looks when we actually run the program is, is down here. So here's what we've called the procedure. Here is where we have put lives in. Okay, so we can alter the value of lives. And this bit here, I've called it lives return, but you can call it anything you like. This is the return value. So this is what comes out of the procedure. So if you remember up here, it says return lives. Okay, so whatever the value of lives is at that point, it's going to return it. And it's going to assign it to this variable, which I've called lives return. Okay. And then from there, I've just added lives return to the original total of lives to give the new total of lives. OK, so what this is doing is we're calling the function. OK, we're putting lives into the function and then the value that comes back out of the function is going to be lives return. OK, and like I said, when we return a value, OK, we can now call this thing here a function rather than a procedure. OK, a procedure just carries out the instructions line by line. So this is a procedure. OK, a function returns a value back to the program. So in this case, we're returning lives back. OK, so um, this is how you'd alter your, your procedure to turn it into a function to accept lives, do something with those lives and then return it back to the main program, okay? So if we wanna make a secret room with altering variables, that's how we would do it. You can also do it with points as well. Instead of lives, you just change the name of the value to points instead of lives. So this is quite advanced, and this is the sort of stuff we definitely do at GCSE level, um, but try it, see how you get on with it. See if you can pass lives into the function, do something with lives and return the value back to the main program using the the code just here okay